Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a watercolor tutorial on how I paint this cute cat. So if you follow my Instagram or Facebook, you would notice that normally I don't paint background because I prefer a clean white background and I think leaving the background blank does help my painting stand out more. But today I want to do something different. I want to match my painting with a simple color background. I'm going to go through my general method and the thing that I did to create this painting. So the first thing after my sketching is that I always outline my sketch first. And in this painting, I choose yellow ochre to outline my sketching. Then I erase my pencil sketch afterwards. So I know there's no pencil sketch left in my finished painting. If you use watercolor to sketch, feel free to skip this process. Then I started painting the darkest parts of the eyes. In any animals that I do, I always start painting from the eyes. So I use brown color for the eye lines and navy blue for the black eyes. I usually try to avoid using only one black color because it makes your painting look dull. While I'm painting the black eyes, I also leave the blank area for the white eyes. You can mark out the white area before painting the black eyes if you worry you would overpaint it. Then I use my number zero brush to paint out all the darker area and details of the cat fur. So it's very important to observe what direction the fur goes and where the direction changes. For example, the fur above the eyes, it has two different directions on the left side and right side. So here I paint out a first layer of the cat body. I suggest using a light color for the first layer because I'll add some darker shadows on afterwards. After that, I continue painting the fur details on the face and body. The fur around the junction usually has a darker color, like the junction around the neck and arm areas. While I'm painting the fur on the body, I will also add the second layer around the arm to strengthen it. Also, I use darker brown to paint out the shadow on the edge of the arms, so the whole painting stands out more. Then I put some shell pink around the mouth and some skin color on the ears. By the way, for the ear part, I did add some orange because I think it looks more smooth and it kind of match with the mouse color as well. For the background, I choose bright sky blue because I think this color makes the painting look lively and cute. So to match with the background color, I choose navy blue for the shadow part. Lastly, I use white gel pen to draw out the whiskers and some white fur on the cat body. So that's all for today's video. This is the final work. The result turned out quite interesting, and I kind of like it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment below. If you enjoy my video, please like and share with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you won't miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!